My name is Erin Bradley, Gauteng Department of Education teacher at Brian Evan Primary School in South Africa. Primary School introduced Purple Mash about midway through 2017. We anticipated that Purple Mash would help our school to become a leading school in the area of information technology. Hi everyone, it's me, Morgan. <laughs> so let's click on the first starting event, the, the first challenge. So we're going to start there. Start the clock, then use the timer to make it click every second. So every single second we've got a timer that's going to play a sound. So let's bring in the, t the clock is going to first of all start, excellent, and then we're going to bring in a timer that's going to go every second. Excellent. Okay, so it's reading a every second. What is it going to do? We're going to have a sound event taking place, which is playing a tick. Let's play that code. If you look at this over here, because it's over here, you'll find in this block over there, the yellow block that's got this, it's showing that that'll take place when the, low, the program starts playing. So when you press this button over here, then it will read everything that's in line over here. The indentation, that little space there, shows that this is going to take place within that block. All right, let's go ahead and play that code. Morgan, are you very good with coding? Yeah, I did coding last year. That's brilliant. All right, let's go to the next challenge. I remember seeing you at coding last year. Now, boys and girls, if you ever stuck, watch the videos that you just saw over there. Morgan, now let's read this one. Now the clock is ticking every second. Make it ring a bell every five seconds. Okay, so it's ticking every one second. What does it do? What's it doing, Morgan? Uh, the sound plays the tick every second. That tick, tick, tick. And now we need to have every five seconds a bell ringing. Now remember, it's going to be on the load event. When the computer starts playing the code, we want it to... Count five seconds and then ring the bell. So where would that code bring that code come in? And try to explain it when you bring it in. Why are you choosing the timer? Bring it in. Every five. And it's going to play a sound, a bell. Now, Morgan, before we, let's look at this, what we have here. If you look at this, you're saying every one second, it's going to play the ticking sound. But within one second, every five seconds, it's going to play a bell sound. Now, some of you might be understanding this in terms of logic. Yvonne, if you had to see it this way, if I say you got one meter, and within that one meter, you got five meters, can that be logically sound? It can't occur. You can't have five meters within one meter. You can't have within one hour, you've got 20 hours within one hour. So there's a logical inconsistency here. So you're going to find this bit of code, which is yellow, that little block, is not really in the right place. That should play on the load event. So suddenly when the code loads on the play event, as soon as play, you press this button, then that should start playing. It should start counting down every five seconds. Feel welcome, Morgan, to move the code. Where do you think you're going to move it? I'm going okay. to move it just above the every one second, so then it starts counting the timer. All right, good. Try see if you play the code, if it's going to how effective that would be. Not going to the next challenge, and I'll explain to you why. It says every five seconds, then you got every one second within five seconds. So this block of code is again not in the right place because what you're saying is every five seconds a bell rings and then when the bell rings then every one second this sound will play the bell so this needs to be moved remember we want the the bell sound also takes place on the start when you start okay Right, Morgan, now you again, look over here, you've got like every one second, every five seconds within one second, doesn't work, it's illogical, it doesn't have any sense at all, it won't work, your computer works in a very scientific way, one of the things I love about computer coding, it's scientific, if you defy logic, it won't work, 
So the reason why that won't work is that you can't have five seconds within one second. As soon as this plays, we have to have that that's going to start reading that bit of code. Yvonne, check it on the board. I'm showing on the board over here. Then you'll see that that bit of code over there is reading within this block. Can you see this block over here contain this little bit of code that I'm showing you now is contained within this bigger block. And it shouldn't be within that bigger block. That looks a lot better. Let's play that. Okay, now don't go to the next challenge quite yet. Can you understand that what, now why it's working now? It starts every one second. It plays a ticking sound. And while at the same time when this line starts, when that block that I'm showing you starts, then this block that I'm showing you, the every five second block also starts counting down. Okay, it's very important that they in line this one, that block and this block are separate. They're not the same. Let's go on, on Morgan. Are you still there, girl? Okay. All right. You want to go to look at this one? Close that. I don't think we're going to watch the video. Make it so that the clock plays another bell sound. A second and the keyword after the bell that rings every five seconds. So, Morgan, we've just got to bring in this bit of code. Remember, it's going to play a bell after the bell that rings every five seconds. So we've got a bell that's going to ring every single five seconds, and then we want a bell to ring after it, the bell rings. So we want to have another bell ringing after the first bell. Exactly. So that that would work what you've just done now, but I'm not sure if the code will read it. Let's try and see. Press. Does it? Okay, but according to what Yvonne said now is that your code would be 100% right. But I think Purple Mash are expecting that you're going to understand that this block is supposed to go into this block because a second after. Even though, Yvonne, your, your suggestion that this is logically correct, it should indicate and show that it's correct. But remember, your timer would be after. And they're giving you a keyword over there saying after. So for, try to follow the keyword that they say, a second after the bell. So that's the, the key. Okay. And we've got to re really follow the instructions very carefully. So Morgan, listen to me. You've got this block over here. And you've got one second that plays the bell. And then this timer, one second after this line then the timer event will go one second. One second after, it will then play the bell sound. So remember that, one second after the bell. So if you could make your corrections there, Morgan. What, do you, what are you going to do? What would the, why are you changing that? You're doing a good job, but tell us why you, you're changing that, because that's right. You are doing it right, but why? Uh, because it's only supposed to play after the five seconds the bell goes. And how long after the five seconds? One second after. Brilliant. That's very good. So in other words, the bell rings, and as soon as the bell finishes ringing, then the timer will then count one second, and then it will ring the other bell, the second bell in after that one. So look over here, at Morgan, you got after five seconds, it rings the bell once. Then one second after the bell rings, you're going to have that the other bell then rings, the second bell in the sequence. Let's check it out. Excellently done. And then we're going to move on. Don't worry, guys, we'll put it up for you to see. And... Morgan, I think we won't analyze it, but do you understand exactly why that was so? Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. And then it's, I think you've possibly gone into the last challenge. Go ahead. And okay. I think there's still one more. Go ahead, Morgan. Right, let's read this one. The monkey's clock is only meant to ring the bell once every five seconds, but it doesn't work. It starts to ring uncontrollably. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got a timer. Every one second, the tick goes. Aha, Morgan. Excellent. Uh, we didn't quite explain why. 
That would have been nice had you had better spent a bit of time explaining why. Because remember, you're teaching on, guys, when you're on YouTube, let's give Morgan a big hand. Right, Hello. now, that was marvelously done. Thank you, Morgan. Now you're going to do your own clock and see if you can do it all by yourself.